Many people who have tightness in their iliacus also have tightness in their TFL or tensor fascia lata, one of my favorite muscles to say. So the TFL is actually also a hip flexor. So if you're finding your iliacus and you're putting your hand on the pelvic bone here and rolling your fingers down to the front of your pelvis where that bony part sticks out, and you move your fingers to the inside, that's where the iliacus is, and that's where you place the hip hook in order to release the tension there. Similarly, if you go to this bone right here and you go a little bit outside, you'll find the tensor fascia lata. It's a relatively small muscle that is about right here on the pelvis, um, right on the outside of that bony part that sticks out in the front. It's called your ASIS. And then it goes down here and blends with the IT band. So those of you that are runners or that have IT band problems or outside of the knee problem that maybe you're attributing to your IT band being quote tight, likely it's re a result of your tensor fascia lata being tight. And the reason that often is tight is because the iliacus is tight as well. So I'm gonna teach you today how to release the tension in the tensor fascia lata, the TFL, so that that will release the tension that is pulling on the IT band, make your IT band much happier, and it also helps you resolve issues with an anterior rotation of your pelvis and tightness in your iliacus. So after you've used the hip hook to release the iliacus, you could use a small ball, um, you know, like a lacrosse ball, racquetball, something smaller than a tennis ball works best to release this muscle because it is so small. Now, one thing to know about um, TFL, tensor fascia lata, is that when it's pressed upon, oftentimes it can refer pain that feels like sciatica. So it might go to the outside of your thigh, kind of right through here, um, sometimes can even radiate down into the outside of your shin just by pressing on this muscle. So if you experience that when you're doing this release, you know that you have a trigger point there and you know how important it's going to be to hold prolonged pressure. So to find that muscle, <clears throat> you are going to lie on your back, put your hands on your hips right at that bony part I was showing on the model. So your iliacus is in the inside of that bony part and on the outside of that bony part is where the tensor fascia lata is. So once you identify that spot, you're gonna place the ball there and you'll roll on top of the ball, kind of holding it in place, nice and slowly so that it stays where you need it to be. And then from this position, you may already feel some tension. You may, might, may already feel that you're on a really good spot, but the perfect spot to get at this muscle is to bring your top leg over so that you're kind of 45 degrees on your stomach and 45 degrees on your side. And this oftentimes is the magic spot to kind of get at that, that muscle. From this position, you can move your body up a little bit or down a little bit to maybe find that, that ideal spot. But once you find that spot that feels really tight, just like the hip hook, you will put prolonged pressure on that muscle, relax for 30 to 90 seconds as that starts to kind of dissipate. And again, it's very common with this particular muscle for it to feel really tender. And it's also very common for you to feel on this bottom leg, the leg that you're doing the release, kind of a, a sensation of pain going down the outside of your leg. That's completely normal, that's trigger points, and with time, that will resolve. So stop rolling your IT band and work on your TFL instead. You'll be much happier in the end.